Gracias. Good morning, everyone. It's Ashley, and today I'm gonna start off the morning the only way I ever do with a matcha latte. Today I'm using this matcha from California Gold Nutrition, which I actually got off of iHerb. So of course I want to give a big thanks to iHerb for sponsoring this video. I think we're gonna be making some strawberry matcha today just to kind of spice it up. So let me go grab everything that I need. Got it. <laughs> Which, by the way, iHerb is my favorite place to shop all things wellness. I love watching what I eat in a day. Growing up, I had always seen other YouTubers use iHerb, and when I finally went to check it out, I was literally awestruck by how vast their selection is from like supplements to sports nutrition to beauty. Which, that reminds me, speaking of supplements, I have to grab something. I almost forgot to do this this morning. It's gummy vitamin time! You guys know, I take my gummy vitamins every day. And why gummy vitamins? Because they're like a little treat, and it helps me remember to take them. B12 gummyology one. This one I like because it tastes like strawberry jam. Women's multivitamin. This is my favorite, is the vitamin C gummy. This specific gummy, gummy has a certain denseness. It's so good. Anyways, I need to keep making my matcha because the ice is gonna start melting. Dip the frother into the matcha as such, which I will then sprinkle. I swear it literally looks like it came from a store. I love making this because I'm like, I really did that. So I'm using a boba straw just because we have the strawberry chunks at the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna do a little mix. Cheers! Beasted. I think I am gonna go to the gym now actually because I would like to go to the gym. French videos again? On YouTube, yes. It says a chimpanzee escaped a zoo in Kharkiv. I love you. <laughs> I am all ready to go, but before I make breakfast now, I think I'm gonna change my outfit. Shall we choose one? Just kidding. I bet you were not expecting that. Okay, so I just put on this dress, this little fun midi dress. Let's go make breakfast, shall we? Okay guys, on this lovely morning, I am making my famous protein-packed blueberry fluffy pancakes, and they're gonna be really good. The reason that they are protein-packed, first of all, is because I'm using soy milk, but also I am throwing in some protein powder, just vanilla protein powder, once again, from California Gold Nutrition. So first we are adding one and a fourth cup of unsweetened soy milk, cider vinegar, vanilla extract, two to three tablespoons sugar, two tablespoons of oil, pinch of salt, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, and one teaspoon of baking soda. We're gonna mix, but don't over mix. You can leave some clumps. Oh, that looks like it needs more soy milk for sure. I'm just gonna take like a couple scoops of the vanilla and plop it right in. Definitely need to add more soy milk when you do this, so definitely keep it on standby. iHerb, get some protein powder, supplements, matcha. If you're based in the US like me, you can get free shipping on orders over $20. iHerb ships to 185 countries from climate controlled fulfillment centers to ensure quality. iHerb brands meet strict standards set by the FDA and they have a 90 day guarantee. Plus you can also use iHerb rewards that you get from leaving reviews, answering questions, etc., to get credit toward your next order. 
Anyways, it's a great time to check them out. Since they're celebrating their 26th anniversary, they're like four years older than me. So that's pretty cool. Also make sure to use my code for 20% off discount site-wide. I will have links to all the products that I use down in my description. Now let us keep cooking the pancakes. Okay, here is my final oh. pancake spread. Let's go. In a different sound? Yeah, in a different language. Bista. <laughs> Was that Mandarin or Cantonese? It's my old man. Bista. Bista in French. Bista. 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 Yay, we did breakfast. I don't always cook for everyone in the house, but in this video I will probably because it's more exciting that way. Bista. Luke, you want gummy vitamin? Take a gummy. Vitamin C gummy. B12. Aww. Post breakfast, I have been laying in my bed for a good minute. Just, well, actually, I'm doing work. <laughs> so I just filmed a bunch of TikToks and I destroyed my room in the process. Like, literally, mess everywhere. <laughs> to feel a little peckish as I was cleaning my room. It's starting to look quite a bit better. So I made myself one of my favorite snacks of all time. All you need to do is take some popcorn. I also take a little bit of peanut butter, drizzle it. It's really kind of difficult to mix in. Then I also take some chocolate hazelnut spread and mix that in as well. And here's what it looks like. Peanut butter, chocolate, popcorn, sweet, salty. It's so good. Okay, I have so much laundry to do. Okay, it is now lunchtime. I changed back into my comfy clothes because I want to be comfy. It's time for tacos. I'm extremely hungry and I'm gonna show you guys how I make my favorite taco recipe. It's literally delectable. You can either make it with tofu or vegan chicken. I'm gonna do both. So first I'm gonna heat this up in the microwave just to like defrost it. <laughs> the taco seasoning mix and mixing it through like so. My absolute favorite thing to make for tacos is a coleslaw salad. It will always be bussin' and it will always be delicious. So I'm taking some coleslaw mix and I'm just gonna pour it into this bowl, just like this. And I'm actually also gonna mix it with some microgreens just because I think it'll help add some extra little nutrients in there. Half a lime. Now this is a life hack if I have one. So when you put your lime into like the lime squeezer, put it this way down and it pushes out more juice. So I'm gonna squeeze that into here. Okay, and now maybe a tablespoon or two of vegan mayo, like this. Maybe not that much. Also, just gonna take some black pepper and some chili lime seasoning and a pinch of agave. Literally the most delectable thing in the world. Sometimes I also like to make my favorite sauce, which is again, just vegan mayo. The other half of the lime, some garlic powder, a splash of agave, chili lime seasoning, and then that's it. Then I also love onions. I'm gonna dice up half an onion and try not to cry. Lastly, I need to cut up the chicken. Okay, I'm on to the last step. I must brown some corn tortillas. Yes. Yay! Here so. is the taco spread. Issa just brought us all back a bunch of gifts. She brought me back some yoga clothes. I'm gonna go try it on and everyone else Where's this from? is trying it on as well. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, we had about to go play tennis. Wow! Hey, so cute. Oh my gosh, the waist crosses. That's so cute. Whoa. Much later, I 
put on sweatpants and it's dinner time. Today I'm gonna be making my favorite recipe to eat in New York City, none other than Penang curry, which is Malaysian curry actually, I think. I'm actually extremely, extremely terrified to be making this recipe today, but it's so delicious. I have to at least try once in my lifetime to make it and I hope it's good enough that I will want to make it again. So let's try it together. Okay, we're gonna start with a lot of chopping. making everything in a big pot. I have everything chopped. And the first thing we're gonna do is turn on the stove. And we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of oil, once again using olive oil, because that's the only oil that I have. I'm also going to be adding some cubed tofu to the curry later. Okay, now into the oil go our onion, carrots, and garlic. While all that just simmers, I am going to add this to a pan with a little bit of oil. Okay, now to this, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of tomato paste, a tablespoon of curry powder. I'm also slowly working on the tofu on the side. I just realized I was supposed to, of course, add the other vegetables before I added the tomato paste. I think I'm just gonna cook these down separately because that's my mistake. cup and a half of vegetable broth and a can of light coconut milk. Beautiful, look at the color. Okay, so I let this simmer for 20 minutes and now I'm gonna add a third of a cup of peanut butter, maple syrup. I'm also gonna add in my tofu and some chopped cilantro. And now a nice thorough mix. Literally smells so good. Oh my God. I'm so excited. This is like such a new type of recipe for me to make. Here's my beautiful curry, and then I have a little bowl of quinoa on the side. Looks so good. Mmm. Very good. I think I could use a little more maple syrup. Don't mind me. And I have some cayenne pepper powder. I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Mmm. Much better with the little spice. Beasted. I added a little bit of basil uh, when the camera was off, when no one was looking. That definitely made it more delectable. I'm gonna give this seven and a half out of 10. Oh, it's really good, but compared to the one I usually get in Soho, that one is so bussin', and this one is like pretty good, but it's just not the same flavor, and I think it's because I use regular curry powder instead of Penang curry powder, so maybe I need to get that, and I'll try it again next time. Okay, I put all the contents into a Tupperware, and now I have my lunch for the next week. Kitchen cleanup time. <laughs> barely left the house but it's really nice to just be home sometimes and like cook more home-cooked meals I don't know the last time I've cooked three full meals all at home it's been a good day I feel like I've been struggling to just organize my life recently <laughs> glad to be back I'm just folding the laundry anyways I think that that brings me to the end of today's video I hope you guys enjoyed all of my recipes and just hang out with me for the day once again I want to give a big thanks to I hope for sponsoring this video make sure to double tap the like button double tap the subscribe button and of course make sure to click confirm when it asks you to unsubscribe and I will see you guys next time peace